so let's now let's talk about the fluidity of the membrane that is very uh, very common another very common feature of cell membrane which is a fluidity so what is a fluidity fluidity as i have told that fluidity is, is means all this mm, the cell membrane and the structure of cell membrane are not fixed they are moving all the time from one place to another place from here to here so they are moving all the time they are very busy they are in a liquid state or you can uh, say semi liquids or semi solid state so they are always moving so here we can see two types of movement there are uh, many movements but these are the main two types of movement that are found uh, in phospholipids so we have these lipid molecules so we have suppose one here number one molecule here for instance for our viewing purposes we mark it with number one so we have this molecule and this molecule can move from this place to this place so this 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 type of movement or suppose this mo molecule move uh, from here to here or from here to here or from here to here so this kind of movements are called lateral movement or these movements are very very uh, rapid we have this kind of movement in 10 to the power 7 times per second so it is going on all the time when, when i am sitting here talking to you guys this kind of movement uh, take uh, is taking place in my cell membrane so cell membrane of my every cell so it's very common type of movement as we find 10 to the power 7 to uh, 10 to the 7 uh, times per second but another kind of movement is there which what you call a flip flop movement so what do you mean by, mean by a flip flip flop movement because we call it uh, this uh, suppose this is a molecule this is a first head and this is a tail uh, first mm, we call it the hydrophobic tail and this is a phospholipid molecule that phospholipid molecule has to transfer from this place to that place so it's it's a total change of uh, the placement. So we, what we are doing in this case, in case of lateral movement, we are just uh, changing a position via the head to head and tail to tail. So we have a tail uh, in one position and head in the same position, and in second position we, are, we also have this head and tail in the, at the same position. So it's very easier so to replace this head with uh, head with another phospholipid and tail with another uh, another, phosp uh, another phospholipid because those head and tails of all phospholipids resemble a same type of chemical property so the head is hydrophilic in nature tail is hydrophobic in nature so it's not a problem to replace a head with head or a tail with tail but in this case this phospholipid molecule has to come uh, through this uh, this stacking of hydrophobic interactions and that makes the difference because this head has to travel across this layer from the here to here so it, this head this head we know this is not hydrophobic this is hydrophilic so we have this hydrophilic head hydrophilic head has to travel through this hydrophobic region and that makes uh, this movement very very dif di difficult so this uh, is not occurring all the time so we have once per month so we have once or twice per month this kind of movement but this kind of mo movement also can be shown now how can we know that this uh, how we came to know about the movement uh, of this membrane for example we have to set experiments yes we love experiments biologists love experiments we need to make hypothesis then we have to set up experiment to prove or disprove that, that hypothesis and that's how science works okay science like this works so what do you do we just have two type of type of cell we have a, we have a mouse cell here we have a human cell here and and we add this those cells in the culture medium we use some energy to fuse those cells and when the cells are fused we found a structure like this so we have uh, some mouse cells uh, and the proteins of those mouse cells stained with a particular dye and the proteins present in the human cell uh, membrane uh, is dyed another kind of dye so so those two types of cells are uh, cell proteins cell membrane proteins are colored with two different types of dyes two different color of dyes and when you add them and uh, in an electric field uh, to make them hybrid to make them attached together we find something like that we find a, uh, a zone where we have no mix we have this mouse cell with a particular type of mm, dye color we have a human cell with a particular type of dye color here indicated blue so we have this kind of thing and when we set things th these things for s for few hours for s instance one hour to two hour what we have we have this mixture of those different colors 
So what we have, we had something, uh, a particular colored region uh, throughout the mouse cell, a particular colored region of protein throughout the human cell, but, but eventually these proteins are going to mix up. So, so this coloration, this mixture of coloration tells us that these proteins are not uh, stable. Proteins are not fixed in a particular place. I, they are move. They are moving. They they has to. They, if, if if they are not moving, we, we can't find something like that. So they are moving all the time, and that's how they mixed up with each other to find uh, to make the hybrid mixed uh, colored protein structure protein formation okay so that that's uh, how we uh, make uh, understand that how it's done it's very important another kind of experiment that tells us this which is called uh, 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 bleach experiment so in that experiment what we have we have a cell membrane here we bleach that membrane with light or, uh, or laser we can say so we bleach it with laser so how what happens uh, this the the membrane, uh, the phospholipids are getting choked, so they are killed, and all these things uh, happens. We we we, we t take a picture of it via electron microscope. Immediately, what we find is that we have a cell membrane area here, and we have what we call a bleached region where we ha where we don't have any kind of phospholipids. Okay and right Im after a uh, one hour or two hour of examination what you eventually find we find something very very important we have the same cell but we don't find this bleached area anymore so when you see it this bleached area is fulfilled fulfilled by the phospholipids uh, from the other section so they came around to fulfill that place it's another example of uh, knowing that these phospholipids and the protein molecules are moving all the time. So they are mobile, they are motile, so they are not uh, stabilized, they are not fixed in a particular place. So now we are talking about the, the fluidity. So what what is fluidity? We have discussed about fluidity that all the things uh, here are in motion. So cell membrane is uh, about motion, no, it's not about fixing in a particular place. So in this case we want to discuss about fluidity and how fluidity is affected by different parameters, affected by different uh, conditions of nature, for instance pH, temperature or different mechanical barriers like shearing or different kinds of forces like Brownian motion and presence of chemicals uh, like uh, steroids. Okay. So why it's important? Because this fluidity makes a, m a cell membrane transform for, from one for form into another form. So we have these two forms of cell membrane. We have a viscous form and we have a fluid form. So I generally talk about this fluid form but now we know we have another form and we call it the viscous form or crystalline form of cell membranes. Okay. For instance, as we uh, talk about these lipids, as we know that lipids has two forms, we have a solid form of lipid and we have a liquid form and we can transfer from solid to liquid state mm, uh, easily. For instance, we have, we have butter in solid state, we have oil, olive oil for instance in liquid state. We can make this uh, butter, if you heat them, it, it will come into a liquid phase. So this transition can be possible. So. Oh, uh, is this kind of transition is possible for our cell membrane? The answer is yes, this kind of transition is also possible because our cell membrane is also made up of those lipid molecules and in this case we are seeing this. We have fluid model here where we are seeing these phospholipids are stacking or interacting mm, by maintaining a gap. So they are not packed or they are not packaged in tightly manner. So it, we have a loose packaging here. Okay. So we have loose packaging, we have a fluid model, we have tight packaging and what we have, we have viscous or crystalline model. So what affects this kind of packaging? Why this kind of packaging is important? So what affects this? The example of it is itself this phospholipid molecules and the chemical nature of this phospholipid molecule and the structure of this phospholipid molecules because structure defies the function. <laughs> so in this picture and in, in my left side of this PowerPoint what we have, we have some phospholipids that are having 
one straight line one straight tail and one curved tail and what do you mean by this curved tail remember uh, when I we talk about these lipids we have we have drawn a structure like that we have a straight line and we have a curved line we talk this curved line and we have a kink and this kink is made due to the formation of a double bond between carbon molecules in the hydrocarbon chain but in this chain we don't have any double bond between carbo carbons that's why we have a straight line Okay, so we have kings, we have double bonds, and we call those double bonds called uh, contained phospholipids unsaturated phospholipids. So we call them unsaturated phospholipid. Okay, so these unsaturated phospholipids are always packed in a loosened manner. So they are not tight, near them, they can't be packed in tight manner because they have this kind of uh, bulkier kinky structures I may say you have a kinky structure that's why you can't pay pack them in a uh, tight manner that gives them the fluid uh, fluid nature of their cell membrane and in this case in the right side we have this phospholipid molecules packed really tight how because we have this straight kind of phospholipid molecules which ha which is having both both uh, chains made up with what he called a saturated a saturated phospholipid uh, or saturated fat or fatty acids what he called a fa saturated fatty acid those saturated fa fatty acids do not contain any carbon double bonds between them so they are very straight in nature so they can stack together very tightly they can have a very small amount of area uh, between themselves Okay, so they, they can form a really tight structure and make a cell membrane viscous or dense. Okay, that's uh, the difference between these two type of things. Now, what are the things? What are the other things that uh, that makes this kind of stacking interactions uh, uh, or affect this kind of stacking interaction? What we have is this: the presence of the steroid, which we call them cholesterol so what is an important of cholesterol in, in the function and structure of a cell membrane because we have this cholesterol as we know this cholesterol has a characteristic of four carbon ring so we have this four carbon ring for instance like this we have another carbon ring from here sorry like this and we have finally another car for fifth carbon ring here so let me draw it uh, like this so we have here and we have a hydrogen ion uh, sorry not an hydrogen we have a hydroxyl group attached here and what we have CH3 groups uh, sticking from this place so we have a structure like that we have a four carbon ring and that this is structure so in this case we have an hydroxyl group which is uh, and which 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 have a tendency to l release this hydrogen, so we have a negatively charged molecule. That's why it is charged. It is an hydrophilic molecule. It loves water, so it can put this hydrophil uh, hydroxyl group towards this phospholipid heads, and it has to place this hydrocarbon ring towards the hydrocarbon chains or legs or you can say tails of this phospholipids and that's how they can arrange themselves to make the structure like this so we have a structure like this so this, for instance this is the hydroxyl group and this, uh, this is the that carbon skeleton of cholesterol so cholesterol plays themselves like that and what it does it does a different kinds of functionality for instance when uh, we have a cell membrane tightly packed by via the presence of this saturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid or saturated phospholipids uh, we have a tight or viscous membrane so in this membrane if we have the presence of the steroids uh, like cholesterols they are generally gonna make the structure less viscous so make the structure loosened okay so the presence of this kind of uh, uh, actually cholesterol makes the structure much looser than it's uh, than it, it was previously okay so it's gonna affect the stacking of the cell membrane okay not in this case in many times also this this kind of 
uh, steroids like cholesterol actually help to stack those molecules together to make a compact structure so this the function of the cholesterol is seems oxymoronic uh, in the field of uh, functionality or chemical property of cell membrane but still it is very very important so it based on the situation so what kind of situation an organism have and what it has to do to cope up with this environment the cholesterol turns its action on and off in different ways so if we have a situation like uh, in arctic regions the penguins have a very very it has they has to they have to deal with uh, a very cold temperature so they need to uh, stack their cell membranes very very tightly in those cases we have some cholesterol and they they help the cell uh, cell membrane to stack very very tightly to get into a uh, what you call a viscous or crystalline state but in other case when you live uh, we indians and live in hot environment or some or someone who lives in uh, deserts or some animal is, uh, lives in desert in their cells we can find this cholesterol do the opposite work what is the opposite work is to make or ensure uh, that these phospholipids are being separated from each other to make the state much and much liquid okay so that's uh, the importance of this cholesterol in uh, to be found in the cell membrane or cell membranes